Call of the Wild, Quato Kalinas, the new map. Uh, we've already done this game. I decided to start it all over. I platinum it. So I thought, yeah, Quato Kalina. So we're just going to do the story missions. My family have held our vigil over these majestic swathes of countryside for generations. My roots are deep here, Looks like an and the down success there. and survival of Cuatro Colinas Game Reserve is my old friend. We are reunited. It's been a long time since we last worked together, but I know you're going to be essential to my plans for the future. I trust that you slept well last night, and you're ready for your Castilian adventure. After all these years of promising to show you Cuatro Colinas, your first day on the reserve has arrived. It means a great deal to me that you made this journey. I have every confidence that you're going to love hunting here. The first thing I would like you to do is to experience the sublime Bosque Vista, not far from where you're standing just now. From atop the vista, one has a splendid perspective of the reserve. This view includes one of our magnificent outposts, which I recommend you visit when you get the chance. I know a rugged outdoor explorer like you doesn't need to spend the night in the luxury of a castillo, but you do have all of our visitors' outposts at your disposal. My mother and father had all of these lodges built over the last 35 years. The lodge you are looking for is called Casa Alfonso. To modernize the reserve, we have recently updated the interiors of all of our lodges. We kept the original stone cladding though. The contrast in styles is pure magic. Te doy la bienvenida a Cuatro Colinas, my friend. I hope you like the view. footsteps of Spanish dukes and kings, as well as every generation of my family for the past three centuries. You should be able to see Casa Alfonso from there. When you have sampled enough of the view, take the walk down to the outpost. Beautiful colors. So, I hope everybody's doing good. Staying safe. Keep your hands washed. Yeah, I don't wear a mask, but I, I respect our, everybody's face. I don't get around and I don't wear no mask because. I don't think it's healthy to wear one. Too much bacteria and it restricts your breathing. But yeah. As far as getting a flu shot, I don't know. In big fields. But whatever you do, you do your choice. Oh. So we're coming up to an animal here. 
I think I see him. There he is. Dead rabbit, too. Huh. We done got the wabbit. <laughs> That's pretty good. Take a shot at a rabbit that far and get him. Hope you enjoyed that. Oh, that's a pig. I killed a rabbit anyhow. There seems to be some rabbit. I see some rabbits way up there. See it? I missed him. Hard to hit him. We did take the one rabbit, so. Right in the head. Whoa! Darn mirror missed him. I held high too, if you remember right. So I took that rabbit disappeared. Or this guy up here. So here's the feeding zone. So we got the good scope now on our rifle. Are fast moving agile creatures. If you don't so have the advantage that of surprise, good luck making your shot. An escaping hare is a tricky target. Nice place to hunt for rabbits. It's big and open. 223 would work nice here. So the first part of this mission is welcome, more or less welcome to Cuatro Colinas. Open case, Casa. So we just got to go over here 500 meters. And we already took a rabbit, so. Nice. <clears throat> and if you want to review my videos, you can review them on uh, YouTube under Michael Vance. Look at all the sunflowers. I mean, it's a garden paradise in here. You will rarely see any wolves in these open fields, too. They like the timbered areas around the lakes. The mountain sheep love this area. So, huh, running in sunflowers will be cool. They're pretty good. Good for you. You notice that the head, they always point, do they got it right? They point toward the sun. Anytime you got sunflowers, they will turn with the sun. It is so cool to see how they grow. Like if a sunflower grows, the head will always point toward the sun. That's pretty amazing. So if you're trying to figure out which way north and south and east is, look, find a sunflower. We used to plant them all over the place, just plant them wild and let them grow because they're good. They're good for the land. They're good for birds, wildlife. It's good to give stuff like that back to wildlife. I always told my brothers I'd like to go up on a hill in the open areas and throw out some sunflowers. You know, eight, plant five or six sunflowers, let them grow. You'll probably have to fence them at first, put a big hoop fence around them after they get so tall, after they get about five, six foot tall. You're good. So there goes a piggy. So let's adjust the tracks. I like to always adjust my track. Now white is a great color to, but I like a, like a, hmm, I like a, like a lime and a, a collectible color to make it magna and spotting yellow maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Sam's so good cover colors in those in there. I, I well, I hope they open up a good map like uh, Arizona, a Western map, so they could put in the Merriam turkeys. I know turkeys are coming. I figure it'll come with the next big map. But I know they did say it will come this year, 
and I do know the red deer gets the next big. Now they got the big deer in here now. They got the. You can hear the wolves. There are some parts of Cuatro Colinas that only a select few know about. I'm taking you to a place where the views are magnificent and the hunting is even better. There, I've sent you the coordinates for the trailhead that leads to this divine setting. Miss it. But I don't want you to miss it. I encourage you to hunt as much as you'd like. You are undoubtedly keen to become familiar with the rolling hills, steep ascents, and your wily prey. You should search for animal tracks. I know you have experience, but one should utilize every advantage when taking on the cunning beasts of Cuatro Colinas. Of course, if you're lucky, you'll probably hear something just from walking through that part of the reserve. The hunter I knew didn't rely on luck, though. I recall that you used to have wonderful hearing. Is that still true? Or have your years gotten the better of you? So we've got a couple items that's really decent for this area. Uh, take off that site and get this site and Weapons is fine, ammo is fine, uh, sights are fine, lures, yeah I want to see what we got here, Gimstop, Black Buck, Lesser Kudu, we don't have to worry about that, I don't know if there's any Axis deer here, but the Bleak Call will work on the, so I don't really need Mule Deer Caller, but uh, uh, there is roe deer here, and there is wild boar. Other than that, I don't think there's much else. Binoculars. And that pod. Yeah. Yeah, the tree pod ain't bad. So, when you go down to inventory, hit options, and you select your gun by putting like that, that, then you go to your ammo, and select your ammo, and go to your rifle, and select that, then you go to push left, and hit sight, put the Hyperion sight on, and so forth. Then you just scroll on down, put your, uh, I figure we'll run into wild boar, and roe deer, and uh, Predator Jackrabbit for the wolves. And the last thing you probably need is your Elite Tree Stand. So there, we got everything that we need. Let's go. Now we can see a little further and we got a little better magnification. So that always comes in handy. She wants us to see an area anyhow. Okay, there. We'll mark them. Nah, it didn't look like a good marking, did it?
I'm going to stay about 200 meters, 200 yards away from that. So they were definitely feeding down there. So we're definitely seeing some wildlife. Well, if you have trouble with wildlife showing up, it won't hurt you to restart. I know people had started and restarted. I'm sure you're going to enjoy your hunts here. I just wanted to circle around the pigs because I think that's part of the mission to kill an animal. And I think them hogs would be fun to take out. She wants you to go to a spot to look at a view, one of her favorite views. So then I think she wants you to hunt. So I'll just go back and take one of them pigs. Or if we see a sheep down here somewhere, we'll dust him. Recently, I've only come here to meditate. It is so ethereal and serene. Even when the rain is falling. When I first invited you to visit, I assumed that I would be coming home to host you as a visitor, spending time here before traveling abroad once again. With my return being prompted by my mother's passing instead, my focus has been entirely on work, instead of enjoying the very places that bring me comfort. I am pleased that I was able to show you this. In a way, I got to experience it vicariously. Of course, it's also one of our best spots to go hunting. I've never gone on a hunt out there and returned home empty-handed. If you are able to pull yourself away from the tranquil beauty of the cove, there are many other wonderful sights for you to see. Senor Baden, our company for last night, appears to be enjoying his time here as well. He's a unique fellow, but quite charming in his own way. When I mentioned that I had hired you as a professional hunter, he seemed a little bothered. He then proceeded to inform me of some hunting accolades that he has received during his career as a hunter. Until recently, I put his candor down to the sangria. But he seems equally enthusiastic in his self-promotion, even with a clear head. Apparently, he has harvested a pair of ibex already. I think someone is trying to market themselves as a worthy competitor. I think it's time for you to remind me what you can do. I'd like for you to harvest an animal. Any animal. Once you're done, let me know, and I'll inform Senor Baden that he has a little competition. When I first returned to help run the reserve after my time away, these were the places I wanted to be. Places that reminded me of my mother. Just a short way down the cove, there is another splendid view. I recommend it.
Mm -hmm. So we're not too far from them. There they come, see? <laughs> That's the way to do it, ain't it? <laughs> I was worried about uh, getting over to that pig. So, let's play them here. You're going to need to do enough hunting for both of us, it would seem. The administrative part of my role is something I am still getting used to. Sadly, it prevents me from spending any time on the reserve with you, or getting to know my neighbors. Cuatro Colinas is mostly composed of my family's estate, but includes several tracts of public land with public roads. Because I'm overseeing the reserve, I need to work with the local government to ensure that the public roads are kept safe. There is a stretch of road in particular that is extremely dangerous. It has a steep cliff on one side, and drivers need to slow right down or risk a perilous drop. Until recently, we had road signs warning approaching drivers of the danger. I mention this to you because these signs have suddenly disappeared, as if by magic, and I need you to replace them. I know that this would normally be a hunter's job, but I have asked the mayor to take care of it. And he told me that I have to wait a month for him to send the crew. I'd have my handyman Julio deal with it, but the poor old soul is laid up in bed with pneumonia. I was able to go into town and retrieve some replacements. Unfortunately, I was in a rush and had to attend a meeting, so I wasn't able to put them up. So maybe we'll do this road part next, later, a little later. Okay? So I thank you all for watching. That We did the first two parts anyhow, so... Uh, you know, we've done a, we done a two, miss, three missions there, so... We uh, completed uh, the mission and we completed the track of animal with Paul. And local harvesting any animals, so... The next, the next uh, mission will be Godado, reach a dangerous bend, retrieve signs, attach the signs to the poles. So that'll be the next part. I thank you for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. Have a good one and be safe. Thank you. More to come.